Hello. And we are live. That's correct. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Shards of the Void, fantasy roleplay and adventure using GURPS 4th edition. I'm Luke the GM with the Cobalt Cafe. Uh, with us today we've got Jared. Hi, I'm Jared, playing Doman. Doman had a fun walk at night the last session. He found a magical watch that talked to him. That is definitely what happened, and no one can convince me otherwise. Very well. We've also got James. Hey, I'm James. I shoot things. Bang. How much longer is your bow on fire? Probably already done. That only lasted like a day. Uh, probably. We've also got Z-Warrior. Hey, that's me. I'm Z-Warrior. I'm playing Spot, the birth and alchemist. Sets people's bows on fire. Aye. Only and for, their arrows, too. Only for a day, though. <laughs> and finally today, we've got Everoth. Hello, everyone. I am playing Ulrich today, your supportive bard. In action. Very good. That's everyone we've got today. We'd normally also have Terra, but she's at work because people need money to pay for things like food and stuff like that. And we did have Simon for a while, but he's also now working hard because people need things like money to survive. Ten hour shifts. Mm hmm. I, I had a, I declined that job. I'd, as much as I need a job, I cannot do one that is 8am while 8pm four days a week. And the reviews for that place are terrible. But that's neither here nor there. Last week, uh, you had a, a nice chat with your god. Lasted about ten minutes, or maybe five weeks, based on when you left the temple after your chat with the god. He... Yeah made Doman's sword fancy he made Ilkled his high priestess he gave Ulrig a very important quest and was extremely pleased with the book that Ulrig had brought him and Ronan didn't want much to do with him because he's the god of death and he's kind of a scumbag the guy and our reverse friend right. picked up his ah uh, yeah clothing he left, scrap. He left something behind for the mushroom also. Mm hmm. Just, just a scrap of toilet paper that had been stuck to his shoe. <laughs> but uh, you know that's heavenly toilet paper from the bathroom of the gods. <laughs> Legendary ingredient for sure. Mythic, legendary, epic ingredient. Oh, yeah. It's got ten stars after its name in your inventory. <laughs> uh, you summoned some bats. Doman had been super after a moth. He's like, oh, I want a moth for keeps, pal. So you were like, bats it is. <laughs> 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 They're actually, uh, I don't know. A bit harder to ride than the moths, but they're also a bit smarter. Dumman will go get his own ride with blackjack and hookers. <laughs> Forget the ride. <laughs> Forget the first ride, keep the second ride. Um, but you've landed in Wretch. Pretty much the exact same place you stayed. Before you went to Hoba. And Ilklid has left you for the day. She's run off into town. Or more like floated off quickly. <laughs> That's right. That catches us up to about the present. All right. Uh, there's a 
blinding flash. You see a huge black cloud of smoke rising on the horizon. If only, nah. So it's early morning? Uh, yes, yeah. The. Yeah, who am I? For how long do we. That <laughs> 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 threw me. For how long do we have these bats? <laughs> Let me check. They're already flying away. <laughs> uh, they, they should be with us for at least three days. But I can make more potions and keep them a bit longer. Are they the fastest method, or would it be faster to <clears throat> summon a sea creature? A sea creature? Um, I don't know. Let me roll my skill, let me see if I know of a faster sea creature. Our destination at the moment is Kuduroi, is it not? On the nose. That is some so. pretty fast sea creatures. Uh, the issue with most sea creatures is that if you ride them for too long, you drown. Yeah. And some of the larger ones, if you keep them out of water too long, they, they don't do well on the surface. Yep. Where did I hide my bats? I'm trying to find my bats to tell you. Uh, uh. Void bat. Oh, yep, yeah, it's a void bat, mildly adjusted. So, oh. we're going to Arania, right? Yeah, that's close as well. I mean, it's far away, but. <laughs> well, we are going there. Uh... So what options of sea creatures do we have to ride? Oh. Is there like a Leviathan? There are some pretty big sea creatures. Like, bigger than any land creature that you know of. And they roam in great massive packs out at sea. A Leviathan can transport up to 15 land units. <laughs> I don't know which real-time strategy game you're referencing, but... Age of Mythology, as usual. Yeah. What is Age of Mythology? Oh, the Hydra. Get the Hydra. Ah. Skila. Whatever. I'll just be here with my 50 hippocampuses. Mm, no hippocampuses that you can think of. Uh, there are legit big fast sea creatures they don't tend to come that close to land though you don't think but maybe at the you know coast facing the ocean rather than this weird little sea thing mm-hmm yeah, there's this little bay here. I mean, it's not so little, but... Ain't so big, neither. It's a few kilometers wide. Twenty or so. Uh, 
If the Irish Sea is allowed to be called a sea, then I think you can call this a sea. Mm -hmm. Perhaps it would be quicker to remain with the bats than... Um, I'm, honestly, I'm not sure. We can, we can go by sea, it's... Uh... Perhaps we could switch to ocean when we reach the Iranian coast. Okay. Yeah. If that's Irania, is this the um, Parshan Gulf? Yeah. I think it might be. They speak Fursi. <laughs> Uh-huh. Ronan, what are you up to? Uh, okay, so we're, we're just chilling in camp? Chilling in camp at the minute. Uh, there are some woods here. Um, the road, I think you land, so the road's a good couple of kilometres to your north. And you're down at the outskirts of the woods where you camp just behind the tree line, I'm pretty sure. Okay, uh, I am going to make some arrows while we're... Actually... So... So I get a few made. Yeah, on the nose. Uh, a few. I don't even know. Uh, seven. You get seven made. Awesome. In an indeterminate number of time. Four milliseconds. time as it takes to roll the dice I built seven balanced arrows impressive but then it, it used up all your FP so you need to rest for about a couple of hours I think okay <laughs> like not that I'm running low or anything but they do occasionally break so I'm just keep making just keep making them just keep making arrows yeah It's like some sort of psychotic compulsion. I have to make the arrows. I have to. The break. <laughs> Need to make more arrows well, than a break. My, my effectiveness in combat can happen 22 times. <laughs> Whoa. A party of 23 Just... approaches on the horizon. <laughs> Each stood seven yards apart, at least. And especially if we're traveling, it's probably just wise to have at least a quiver of extra. Mm hmm. All right. Hey, you got some dumb wolves today. How many wolves have you got today, by the way? Oh. 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 Two. Only two wolves. Three times. Yep, I've only got two wolves around today. One of the wolves was like, I am not doing that flying. <laughs> as soon as the bats landed, it just ran, sprinted. <laughs> <laughs> Uh... 
what kind of watch are you keeping? I'm guessing you're looking out over towards the road in general in case you spot people coming, right? Yeah. Yeah. Probably keeping an ear out. Mad nose? Well, yeah, probably a nose too. I'm probably just used to smelling anything in the area, so... Quick. Three people coming from the northeast. <laughs> probably more like two flowers. It's probably more like mm, something smells off. You smelt it, Delta. In my experience, it's. It's more like when you smell gas in your house after coming home and you're like, uh, I don't know where that's coming from, but we should probably do something about it. <laughs> that's a good analogy. Um. Hmm. All right. Now for a secret roll that matters. <laughs> okay. Everyone, roll your favorite perception. Okay. You bastard spot. I think I spot it. Yeah. And Ronan does smell something all of a sudden. Wind shifts direction, and you smell perfume in your camp somewhere, Ronan. And perfume in the camp. It's very close. And spot you catch a glimpse of him, uh, just a single person coming down from the sky, pretty quick into a tree above you. Almost silently, there was like no noise whatsoever to him arriving, but you saw exactly where they went. No, uh, what did they look like? Uh, bony, very bony. Oh. Oh, we have visitors. Uh, yeah, I I think I was putting a uh an arrow into the bow, knocking it. And you're like, ah, bleh, eh. no shoot, please. Does this person look familiar? Uh, no. Who are you? Oh, apologies. I am Borisov. I, I come look at camp. Uh, I, I expect Arish, your Mithans, and Bear, obviously. Hello, Bear. She's expecting Irish? Uh, Arish, sorry, that was a accent fail, yeah. Uh, Ar people from Arania. <laughs> Oh, right, I couldn't see the... Uh, okay, that's the demonym. Yep, sorry. Ooh, that's a fancy word. That's a $2 word right there. Yeah, I guess we are kind of far from the Methan border at this point. Mm-hmm. Is that all you say? <laughs> do, you, do you actually say that? No. Oh. Hmm. Uh, I'm just... You're singing bear. Right? You must be from town. Come Wait, on. Ulrich isn't here. Ulrich, oh, did did Ulrich go into town with... Yes, he did. Another town with, uh... What was her name? 
Uh, e click. Mm, that does no, complicate uh, things slightly. This could just happen when they return. Yeah, I could come back later, no problem. That too. But then it confuses things. Um, I think Ilklid told you to go back to camp, Ulrich. Mm -hmm. She might have even sent you on some bugs if you were willing to be carried by bugs. Sure. He's okay with um, getting a ride from a bunch of creepy crawlies, but not with... Uh... Seeing someone die. Uh, roll versus uh, Swedish, just... please. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh. At least they're not dead. Yeah, they they don't bleed on you. Until you squish one. They're pretty sturdy. But it's probably impossible not to just squish one. But yeah, so he's back now, and he was just asked a question, or no, addressed as the singing bear. The singing bear from town. Uh, so I am there to reply or not? I am just confused about that. I... Hello, people. Why? Yes, you are. That's what the whole thing about the bugs was about. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, you are there. Sorry, I uh, misunderstood your question. Um, he's just gonna bow politely and nod. Uh, just still, just uh, trying to get some of the bugs off of him that still are stuck in there. Yeah, there there are a couple deep in your fur. Buzzing angrily. Ooh, uh, uh. Uh, why, why not go into town? There are nice hotels for you. Why hide out here? Well, mostly because of my other party members desire so. I believe it's the best option too. With what we're dealing with. What bring you all so far from Mitha? Bugs. Flying bugs. Oh, you mean oh I believe it would be trouble, my friend. I have been just looking at this land with eyes that I have not had before. At least that's for me. I don't know much about my other companions, goals, or inspirations to this land. I'm thinking my myth and Rusty? You cut off there at halfway through Rusty? No, I stopped talking at Rusty. <laughs> Why are you here? I come see camp. I... I going from... Charniki to this town here. Forget name. Too small a map. Cannot read right now. <laughs> Obuza. Mm, nobuz? No, Nobuza. Nobuz. 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 Da. It's town. I fly there. I see little camp, I come look, I see uh, uh, breathers, eaters, he's interesting, I see singing bear from other day. Where is your companion? The one with the big armor guy. Oh no wait, big armor, um, uh, things are getting confusing. Ilklid and all are summons are currently elsewhere. Okay. They have left for now, but will return shortly.
And these gestures at the herd of bats a few trees back. M my bats. Uh, impressive. I did not know they could be trained or angled as such or but good job either way impressive mm, thank you the verth is a proud bat rancher i know it He's rubbing his jaw, scratching it. How did he? How did he get here? You said he flew here. Uh, yeah, he's still kind of floating, just a couple of inches off the ground. What are your intentions here, mage? Mage. I hardly call myself mage. Um, but say hello. I have said it. Hello, you can leave now. <clears throat> well, pleasure to meet all of you, sirs. I be off, I think. Unless there was a more you were here for. No, I see all is good. Thank you. Uh, Spike will take his bag and take one of the one of the boner potions. <laughs> uh, his gestures at the at the scovenet. He's the scovenet, right? Yeah. Yeah. You would also know because he's a scoofnet that he's kind of missing something. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I show him the potion and. Oh, Mr. I feel. Hmm, I don't know, have you ever tried one of these? Uh, what is it? What's that there? Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a potion that I make. Yes, what does it do? It makes your bones real strong. <laughs> uh, it's for... It's for couples. Okay, aphrodisiac of sorts? Y yes. How much? Mm. For you, ten crowns. I don't have crown. Ten crowns, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Bonus potion. This seems kind of expensive, no? Uh, uh, well, I'm, I'm open to a negotiation. You can feel free to make an offer if you want it. Till you, I mean, you, you came out. I, mm, no, you intrigue me, honestly. They would like to try a Verthen potion. Here, will you take this? He pulls out a little billet of silver. Mm. Uh, I will inspect. Uh, ba, 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 ba. I just need to double check something. I think I was going to be very serious. There's a bit of silver. Yeah. 
Yeah, it weighs nearly a pound in your hand. I say small, it's a pretty big billet of silver. And it is not magical. So it's at least real silver. Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah, seems like fair trade. Oh, great. I'll take it. Thank you. You're welcome. Do any of you others have foreign goods? I have other pulls out a slightly smaller piece of gold a little bag that clinks as he shakes it no have you goods other than gold and silver Not about my person, but back in town I have quite the haberdashery. Cloths, threads, fabrics, exotic weaves. Leathers. I care not for those such fineries. They do not spark joy. I like... I hold up a wrist-mounted crossbow. That sparks joy. That's the one from war, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Do you sell this also? I don't know. Any of you guys want a wrist-mounted crossbow? Hmm. N not for me, thanks. I am fine. Jared? Doman doesn't respond or react. Because it does not spark joy. <laughs> okay. Then, yeah, I'm selling this. You're only supposed to keep things that spark joy. Yep. I'm looking over at my WWE SmackDown vs. Raw with PlayStation 3 copy again. Feeling some joy. Uh, what would you take for it? I have this gold, I, uh, some gems, I have ruby here. I, I, I don't have much need for rubies, but gold is occasionally handy. Or actually, no, I'll take a ruby. Those are worth money. Here you go. I'll give you this piece of gold and the ruby. It's a nice piece, this. Hmm. Awesome. Does it seem magical? The ruby. Or the gold, no. Or the crossbow. And are any of them detectably magical to people with majory? Uh, I, I think we went over that, it didn't. No, yeah, they all seem to be mundane. When you hand him the crossbow, he says the magic words and it turns into a machine gun. And he blasts you off. Well, son of a... 
game over. It's one of them choose your own adventures where uh, legit every result is you die. It's good to trade with you. Where do you go next? You need guide in Wretch? We shall depart, Wretch. It's a good idea. Lots of people not like livings and breathings. Hence your reignition of the War of Conquest. What? Wretch has not fought war in thousands of years. We are peaceful. Know you not of the demons that are rampage through Mitha? Is this metaphor? Is demon <laughs> some <laughs> way a new lifestyle? No, very, very real demons that cut your head off. Uh, surely they have. What makes you think they are Skuvnets? We were so informed by members of your council. Rich Council? He scratches his skull. That is one way to put it. More like a... Hmm. Know you not of Dynamis? Zvedza? Shoshchivania? What he said. <laughs> not... No. I don't recognize these names. I'm back. Welcome back. Sorry, my my boss had called me like three times in the last half hour. Like, ah, right, I'm calling back. <laughs> <laughs> Wretch is ruled by Emperor. Emperor Ibrahimovic. <laughs> and on the Royal Council is no Shrashivanye Zvedza or Dynamis. So, Luke, how much was that ruby and bat of gold worth? Oh, uh, bar of gold. The bats are in the tree elsewhere. Ah. <laughs> uh. I should tell Z Warrior what that silver's worth as well. Mm. Yeah, just, just before we get too far ahead. Need to double check. That ruby is worth rough. Oh, wait. Do you even know? I'll make a note of this in the RL. Yeah, I mean, even if you just write it down. 
Because yeah. yeah, I actually would have absolutely no idea how much that ruby was worth. Where is it? There it is. Treasures. Go to the GM section. There we go. Note saved. But I believe what you are saying about demons. Who told you it was Wretch Council? There's been nothing in news of war in Mitha. We were also informed by the Shochchivania and Zvedza and Dynamis cult. You might not know there's a war brewing, but there is a war, in fact, brewing. Brewing? It's steep in pal. Those might mean the same thing. <laughs> Rothmarl, Tonbud, the town that is too small to read. <laughs> Rola, Newbury, War. All gone. Well, I have heard nothing of sorts. But I will definitely be looking into. Sounds scary. I assure you, Wretch is friendly place. Skuvnet are friendly people. You do not need to hide in woods. I'm not hiding. I just feel more comfortable in. Especially in the ungodly blight that surrounds the towns of Wretch. Eh. He's unfortunate, but. Yeah. Anyway, I think I go now. Is good meets new friends. Look up Borisov next time you are in Shaniki or Nabuja. Okay, we we might stop by. And then he starts gliding away. To the he looks like he's heading to Chiniki. I mean, that's quite a ways out of our way. <laughs> Doman, you do remember him saying that he were heading to Nobuj. And spot, that is, does seem to be back the way he came from. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Remember mention of what, sorry? Uh, you heard him mention that he said he came from Chiniki and we're going to Nabuj. But yeah. rather he's um, now just flown off back in the direction he came from. Um, you're confusing town names. That's Chichen. Uh, definitely the other direction. Ah, uh, my bad. Oh yeah, Chiniki's the capital. Dumb. <laughs> Our only uh, mass green ends here. <laughs> I was looking this direction. My apologies. Ah. Ah. Hmm, slow session. But Dillman doesn't stop this guy from leaving. Yeah, I I mm. I continue making arrows and off he goes. So, south? Let's head south. Once the High Priestess of the God of Death has returned, we may depart. Sounds like it. We wouldn't like to leave her behind. No, we would not like to do that at all. Yeah, I I really don't want to leave the High Priestess of Death behind. Are you all mountain <laughs> bats as you say this? I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, she has her uses. Fine, do we want to follow this guy? We should wait until dusk when the bats are more suited for flight. Okay. Just leave her a note. Tell her we're going south. She seems quick. She'll catch up. Yeah. Just like find a tree close to us. Have somebody write a note. Nail it in. If only I were quick enough to make an As You Like It reference there. It's not even As You Like It, it's a different one. Shakespeare's shit, don't read anything by him. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. So yeah, I think we just kind of do whatever until um, yeah, dusk will roll around. Ilquid. Uh, she's gonna be gone for m more than a day. I think she did tell you all, Rig, not to wait for her, and that she'd catch up. Yeah, she's she playing can. a Gandalf. She can't find us. Yeah, she'll find you. Use You've got bugs in your fur. All of you. You've all got crabs. <laughs> oh, great. Just what I didn't want it. <laughs> Just what I didn't want it. Uh, put that on a t-shirt. We all rig space. Uh, I'd wear that every day. Just what I didn't want. Crabs. <laughs> uh, I was hoping that I'd come out at 11. <laughs> like, the syphilis is fine, but it was specifically no crabs. <laughs> syphilis is that sexy philosopher disease. Yep. Nietzsche was sexy, right? Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure. I think he might have been the first incel, but I can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> I 
Does Ulrich mention that we were told we could leave without her? Uh, yeah, uh, she wants to leave. Well, she did say that we could go on. I just feel it wouldn't be nice. So and then it is settled. <laughs> Dumman goes to grab a bat. And, and he would have actually asked Spot to tell it to take commands from him. Because I assume it's only like a minus two to go from moth to bat. Yeah, I'll, I'll allow it. Mm hmm. Nice. You're lucky that the, uh, you don't really need to con guide them with your body. You just need to worry about keeping your extremities tucked under them ropes. But you do a much better job of looking cool while you're doing it, Doman. So what is their speed? Uh, over distance... They are the same as what the moths were. Blah, bloop. Bloop. They can manage about 140 miles in a day with clear weather. Uh, 225 knobs. Thank you. They can move a bit faster than the um, moths, but only in short bursts. So we can make it to, what is that, Colmany? I knew I should have made a zoom for Dan South there. <laughs> Go a little bit on this map. Way too zoomed. So we can make it about to bore or further towards the coast. Yeah. Is there any particular benefit in going further towards the coast? Uh, seaside. Beach, ice cream, fish and chips. It's also like mid-teens in the degrees. Probably not the best swimsuit weather. It's bracing. Let him go. <laughs> so we uh, mount the bats and head off then? Yeah. What eats bats? I'm not sure anything does. Hawks and owls? No giant birds. They're banned. So I think you're safe. Not even Big Bird? Uh, no, know there are bird. some... Sorry. There, there are some snakes and giant spiders that actually eat bats. Ah, uh, uh, perfect. Snakes and giant spiders. As you soar above the clouds, you are attacked by a tarantula. <laughs> <laughs> well... Uh, Oh, that's. Mm, do I do this encounter immediately? <laughs> it's just popped into my head. 
Well, in Magic the Gathering, spiders traditionally have reach, which lets them, lets them block creatures with flying. Oh, so you catch them. As you soar through the clouds, you hit an invisible wall because there's a spider <laughs> way below you. No, it's just spread a web up between these uh, two clouds. <laughs> that is really sticky web. It, it, my plan is the spiders just land on you from above with parachutes of web. <laughs> they ride in the jet stream, baby. No. Uh, actually, there are spiders that do that. And not SM5 ones, though, I don't think. <laughs> Probably not. Oh. Right, it's then. like the SM-7 ones. Mm -hmm. Does anyone have area knowledge for Arania? Or... More no. global? Or geography? I got survival. I don't have any of those. You're nerds. Fair dues. Even better. Oh, so mm, which way are you going? Coast or inland? I think. You think? But that's my boat. Uh, you cut out for me. Oh, I think inland, but oh, that's my okay. boat. Does that skill help? And yeah, I think inland too. It's 2 nil. Push on to bore through the uh, dawn hours. <clears throat> Whale. Well. What you notice as you're heading south is that the trees are kind of big down here. They start getting bigger, but then by the time you're up here, they are massive, hundreds of meters tall. Tens of meters wide at the base. And it's kind of just this dense, crazy, huge endor pine forest for like 30 knobs in every direction. But then it dwindles at the edges to pretty much nothing. Redwoods. Redwoods. Big old redwoods. Oh, so it, it looks like my coast. Probably. But bigger. Even bigger. The Doman shouts over the noise of them flying. Yes, yeah, human! <laughs> Can we push on to Boar? Mm. Give me your animal handling bat. <laughs> Alright, I'll Vet do this just then. Veterinary giant bat. Oh, look at that. That's pretty good. Wow, yeah. Uh, they nice. They can probably make it, yeah. They'll be tired when they land, but it'll not kill them or injure them. I think we can push it. One, two, three, four. And... Uh, uh. Yeah. The forest dwindles behind you. Uh, 
very much logged looking. Uh, extreme logged. And as you come upon Boar, it is a uh, pretty tiny town, if I recall from my memories. Yeah. Not big. Uh, lots of wooden buildings and farmland and Ronan your bats losing altitude fast my bats losing altitude fast it's uh, panting pretty hard underneath you oh so, <laughs> you gave me the lame one <laughs> See the ground oh, kid. coming up a bit. I think we have to land. Sorry. No, it's okay. Ro Ronan's bat is indeed landing. Uh, a lot faster than everyone else's bat. It's tricky to get off the bats because they like to roost right away. Um, make me a DX what? check at a minus four, please, Ronan. So, I mean, like, Ronan weighs 120 pounds, and it says here a male wolf will weigh between, like, 66 and 180, and a female will weigh, be like, 51 and 120. So, like, how much more could we possibly weigh than, say, ever? <laughs> the bat that's carrying him is really beefy. It's ripped. <laughs> Shredded. It's got side abs. <laughs> And everything. Okay, okay, I I'm good with that. I, I just like I felt it was an argument that that should at least be made. Uh. Oh yeah. Er. I just posted an image of the bat carrying ever in our Discord. Search. <laughs> yeah. Looks copyrighted. Or maybe not. I don't know. It looks like it might be from DeviantArt, in fact, on closer inspection. It's from a Canadian TV show based on a Canadian book series. Ooh. About shredded bats. Let's go with that. Sounds good. It's just uh, so yeah, everyone watch this Canadian program about these bat bodies. He's builders. a Mexican vampire bat. <clears throat> cool. Okay, now they're just remaking Jojo. Um, I want to double check some rules quickly, so I don't do something too lame and. Maybe kill you, Ronan, just for fun. <clears throat> Ugh, further down in Google Images, it, it is deviant art stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> you have big man bustles. <laughs> okay. Yep. That's that's all I need to do, pretty much. Uh What's your HP again, Ronan? Uh, it is 10. <laughs> Are you plugging that into fall damage? Yeah. Oh, no. Sounds about right. Five damage to the torso. I think you just broke two ribs. 
Oh! You are not good at falling. No. No. They were like, the bat were flapping hard, and the, the bats are kind of harder to ride than the moths, because they've not got that nice thorax intersection to wrap your legs around. Okay. Instead, you're more like laying on top of this moving leather sheet. It's like flying a bear rug. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is... Yeah. Slip out the ropes at last minute and land on your side on a big, like, root or something. Cool. <gasps> oh. Wolves both jumped free at last minute and now they, like, run up to you and they're sniffing at you. They're like, oh. Ooh. They both say and they're just like, ooh. You alright? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Rest of your bats land fine. <laughs> that one rider never flexes a bit. That one rider never. <laughs> 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 now we're getting deep into DeviantArt. Yeah, yeah we are. <laughs> I, I didn't know the bear could fly. <laughs> He's just been running on ground underneath you. So the bat likes bears? What? Bat, the bat loves bears. It's, it's actually, yeah, it starts grooming you ever when it's landed <laughs> and you can climb off. It's like He's licking like... at its wing and then it's licking at back of your head. Oh, Probably nice. eating a couple of the stuck bugs. Mm, yeah. Skull rips. <laughs> well, it's a great time for a quick break. Mostly because I've not got any coffee in my mug. So we'll be right back. All right.
you were muted, Jerry. J Jerry. Jerry. <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> Just shoot me. Sorry, Jared, we were muted, so you missed out on that chance. But we are back. Indeed. What we look at here. James Ronan's hurt. You just crash landed. Yeah, yeah, I had a bit of a crash landing. That seemed to suck. <clears throat> I think Ronan is currently just like on the ground, like ah. The bat's fine. It's scratching behind its ear. Uh, I think we're eating bat tonight. And it will be a couple of hours after dawn again. Okay. And... Vision checks from everyone. Okay. You need my vision? Ew. Fail. Just smell the photons. Success by three, success by seven, success by eight. Yeah, uh, you've landed. <laughs> you all managed to see, even Ulrig, that you've landed in a big wheat field. Wheat? What am I on about? Giant redwoods? What would it be? What did you grow out in California? <laughs> Anything. Weed? <laughs> Weed? Grapes? Yeah. It's hemp. Obviously, <laughs> you've landed in a giant hemp field. Whoa. Uh, but you do see a few people, not Ulrich. You're the only one who doesn't see this. A uh, group <laughs> of about four farmery looking types running away. Towards... I think Delman would have tried to land and not in the farmer's field. Uh, yeah, that's that's fair. There are paths around the edges and this kind of an, a, there is an edge to the field itself where it... so I'm in the middle of the field you're in the middle of the field <laughs> there were uh, also some other people in that field maybe about 50 meters away from where you landed they're running the opposite direction towards a farmhouse that's maybe another 100 meters away from that It's just a little, tiny little shed building, pretty much, that they're running towards. So, if I am lying in the field of tall hemp, I, I would assume that I had some serious penalties to that vision roll? Uh, probably, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm currently lying in the middle of the field going, ah. With the wolves licking your face. Now, Luke, very important distinction here. Is this hemp or is this pot? Uh, it's hemp. Okay. Not much sense of me about. This gonna be ropes. Yo. Where is Ronan? Uh, I, I think I saw him crashing over there. One of the wolves has run away from you, Ronan. And the, like, seven foot high hemp to the side of the rescue explodes as a wolf comes out going, Arr, 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 and then runs back into the hemp. Uh, Let's go see to him. Don't go into the long grass. This is Velociraptors. <laughs> What's the worst thing that can happen? Why would you say that? Somebody has to. <laughs> That's 
somebody you has find... to go in and... You find him. I will see if I can calm these villagers down. These farmers. Okay. The wolf's cleared a fair path through the plants, knocking a bunch over. Hey. Oh, disgusting. Disgraceful. I can't believe you did that, James. For shame. Yes, you should feel shame for your natural bodily function. <laughs> I shame everything. No, that mean. Uh huh. Even I, I mean, a lot of my family's Catholic, so. <laughs> Stupid catholics. They're just animals. I am a catholic. Addicted to cat hole. <laughs> But they find Ronan lying down moaning? Yeah, most likely. Uh, the wolf bursts through the hemp back towards you, Ronan. Followed by a spot on an Ulrich. And a jar of tiny horses. Which, since they've been running, are now quite jostled. Mm-hmm. At the minute, they've got around one one hundredth of the normal HP strength weight. No, I think they've got one one thousandth the normal weight. It's like less than a gram. So they're more or less just disoriented. Yeah, it's like shaking a vial of dust. <laughs> You can roll that collision injury as hard as you want. I don't think it's going to hurt him much. You could probably drop one from, like, Topper Empire State Building. If you can find well, it. Good for them. Doman, uh, two people have come back out of that shed. One of them is indeed holding a pitchfork, the other seems to be holding a crossbow, and the other one is run out of the back door and is sprinting towards the town. Doman will hold up his sword hand without the sword in it. The one with the crossbow is not pointing it at you, he's kind of pointing it at the ground. And he, he just shouts over, like, a blue fitted barb. Be calm, we mean you no harm. They like mutter to each other and start walking towards you. Not threateningly anymore. One of them turns and calls back to his friend who's running towards the town and shouts something like I am Doman of Bretria and Doman will say Bretria very clearly mm -hmm. uh, Bretria <clears throat> Arish Bastar points at his like throat as he says it. Uh, the other one's just pointing at the giant bat in the road. Well, the like five or six giant bats in the road. Uh, 
Tillman will go and unhook his bag from the bat. They follow up. Watching. Stood a good, like, ten metres away. M muttering to each other in uh, Irish. If only that demonic sorceress were here. To grab someone's face and scream. Rowan and Dillman will yell. What? <laughs> now you are rich. Uh, so actually, Luke, I was about to uh, ask you about that. So I had, we had talked that I had spent some time abroad. Yeah, and we did mention this country in particular, I think. Yeah, so can can I spend two points to get it at Accented? I'd be fine with that, yeah. Okay. Broken. Unless you mean speaking only. Yeah, speaking only. I I literally can't read. Right, right. Mm -hmm. What's what's the language called? Irish. Yeah. Irish. 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 I'm, I'm on the ferry, Andy. I'm the way back from Ireland. Oh. So yeah, then. That I'll be like, yeah. Ulrig and Spot, you're just looking at Ronan. I imagine laughing. More than laughing, I'm interested on the language and the culture. Like, this is the first time I've seen this place, right? Uh, yeah. I don't think yeah, I've seen. You've never seen these kind of plants before, either. Yeah, they look fascinating, and uh, I'm not sure it's tasty, so I'm going to eat some. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not great. They've got big enticing leaves that do look like they might be nice, but kind of bland, really. Just like heating he grass. Goes like, he goes like, th 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 why would they farm this? I don't see the reason. Uh, I don't know, maybe the roots are good? They make rope out of it, and other goods. Hmm. Oh. Uh, the word for eating. Here, Spot. No. Uh, he gives you a lunch. <laughs> Ronan's still lying on the floor there, clutching his chest, <laughs> and like, rolling around in pain. <laughs> Oh, wait, 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 wait. Why, why did Ulrich try them? He, he's a carnivore. Uh, omnivore. Oh, shit. No, 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 you're no, a carnivore. You, you, you specifically you made them carnivore. carnivore. You're right. I, he wouldn't then. I think, I like to think that he did. No, uh, yeah. He probably did it out of the, because he wanted to and see what it tastes like. Carnivores can, you know have a munch on something that's not meat. They just, you know, they might throw up or do a bad poop in a bit. Uh, what was the result of that first test? Oh yeah, you're definitely going to do a bad poop later. <laughs> but yeah, he, he would eat the first part, but then stop after he realized it doesn't taste good. Yeah, probably just like chew it to a mush in your mouth and then like, bleh. <laughs> Uh, not even good, even for chewing. I am not regretting googling stoned bear. <laughs> <laughs> but if this is hemp, like, there's there's no THC in it. Mm -hmm. Or, like, the tiniest possible amount in less than half of the plants. Yeah, like, like the THC you have to really cultivate. Like, if they're just growing hemp, like... This is a cash crop. Like they're they got a bunch of people ready to make a bunch of rope. 
Yep. They're after the stems, not the flowers. Yeah, pretty much. Ronan, hasten here. Alright, and like Ronan like comes up, just like breathing, because it was only five damage, but you know when you out of nowhere just take a good thwomp? Five also, it was, just... it was only a lot of the way to death. <laughs> yeah. So. I think, yeah, this, this one. So yeah, I'll, I'll like sit up and like stand up and start hobbling over to you. Ori, oh, he's all busted. Hmm. Why didn't you say something? I thought you took that jump like a man. Here. Sorry, I said myth and here. Let me patch you up. And second. Yeah, you get a uh, one extra d6 for this one. The villagers suddenly hear a singing bear in the hemp field. <laughs> <laughs> Magic glow. Oh, and you are healed by 2d6. Awesome. Four. Oh, I already rolled the 2d6. Oh, then, yeah, let's go your row. You get the seven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm, all right, I'll, I'm feeling nice in this instance. Is it arrow of effect? Uh, yes, everyone around me. So if you were wounded, uh, everybody, everybody gets healed. Everyone gets seven. It, it's better body, right? Yep. Yes. Oh, so it's going to heal the plants as well. Ah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. This is like suddenly a... your nice path disappears. Yeah, the hemp and it's like all been flattened, crushed around you. But that leaf that you just pulled off and chewed up, you see you regrow in an instant in front of your face. <laughs> Uh, he's probably going to be like, ooh, more. Take a bite. Ah, oh, right. <laughs> That's not good. And then toss it. <clears throat> Is he a giant bear or a tiny puppy? Everything. <laughs> uh, but I wrote him hobbling out. These two guys are there yep. in rough hemp clothing, of course. One's got a pitchfork, the other's got a crossbow. They look at interestedly as you all step out, and one of them just goes like, Oh, fucking bear! Oh, yeah, yeah. He's handy to have around. And then the one with the crossbow picks it up quick and he's like, Wolves! Hey, hey, no, no, they're, they're friends, they're friends, and then I'll throw, like, a piece of meat at both the wolves. Oh, uh, meat. What's the meat for? <laughs> huh? That's what the wolves say. Like, what's this for? Free meat, not gonna <laughs> argue, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just wondering, if we did something good, we'll do it again. No, you're fine. Just on... Um, on exactly um, as you were. Um, um, um. Like, oh. They're gonna become Skinner's pigeons. <coughs> Skinner's pigeons. Skinner was a psychologist. He dispensed food to pigeons at random intervals, and they and they thought it was to do with their behavior, so they became superstitious. B.F. Skinner. I think I've read a lot of Skinner, but it's from 10 years ago and now my brain is empty. You speak that tongue?
Yeah. Yeah, I do. Uh, the bats. You landed on bats. Oh, yeah. This one's got a couple of spells that makes creatures writable something. I don't know. How's it work? I, I say that you and uh, Mithan. How's, how's that spell work? Magic. Z? Z? Yeah. Uh, sorry, uh... I, I didn't catch that. Oh, I, I I I say to them, you know, something like I'm talking to them, and then I look over at you, like, hey, how's that spell with the bats thing work? Oh, they 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 do what I asked them to. He says he's got the spell that makes the bats do what he asks them to. Impressive. For sure. Oh. Oh. Why are why are you in our field? Oh, just passing through for the night. I just happen to have Batty Coda, a terrible, terrible bat. Oh. Not like that one there. Points at the ripped bat that's still flexing in the road. <laughs> <laughs> so he just that one. I I don't like looks of that bat. It does look mean. It's like that one that's been carrying Ulrig is clearly some kind of alpha bat or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't let your kids near it. It's the Chad bat. <laughs> You got the uh, the incel bat, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> well, look, we <laughs> see where he is riding the cutest. Sorry. <laughs> look, it's been a long, long night. We could use like some water. Very least, did you point us towards water? Yes. Sorry, manners. We're stupid. Come on, to the house. We speak bits of Russian accents. I changed it up. Don't worry, everything will be fine, Indy. The wretched already Russian. Blah blah blah. blah. Yeah, we near wretch. Yeah. Okay. It's accent, so it's Russian. Duh. And yeah, they'll lead you past the shed and towards their actual homestead. Uh, where you put bats? I don't know, like hereish. Oh, how do we? What do we do with these bats at or during day? They just go fly up into the trees and dangle. I think kind of climb them rather than flying up, but yeah. Yeah, they're fine. Just don't hang around underneath whatever tree they're in. We're <laughs> gonna uh... go batshit crazy. There's uh, actually not any trees around for a fair... What? No, you've still got smaller trees, haven't you? Stupid right. farmers, no wind breaks. Yeah, oh yeah, of course they got wind, yeah. He's smarter than I am, so uh, there's trees... It's a problem out. here that some people have been trying to maximize crop yields by uh, cutting those down, and then they increase erosion, and it's like, what did you expect? Well, don't cut down your windbreak trees expecting to increase crop yields because you'll only increase erosion. 
which decreases crop yields. Can Welcome we put back. that one on a t-shirt too? Yeah. Welcome back to our Farming 101 podcast here. Now, got my almanac open. What should we be planning tonight, Jared? Hemp. Hemp. Always hemp. Wonder crop. More rope than you can smoke. Yeah, man. Let's smoke this rope. <laughs> and then later we're going to rope a dope. Uh, but it's a it's a pretty nice little house that they lead you to. Uh, dope rope, dope rope. I'm out. Oh. Don't 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 acknowledge me. <laughs> I try my best, but you made it out. Yeah, there's a uh, a few trees that the bats all kind of climb up into one big old gnarly tree. Guys, watch it happening. And it's just like, Ooh. Uh, but yeah, come in. We got drinks. We got foods. Uh, you see a whole <clears throat> crap ton of goats in a pen. Ah, uh, poor goats. It's a pretty big pen. They're all like, meow, jumping over each other as you all walk past. Man, suddenly I'm regretting not taking, like, a modified frightened animals. You know, frightens domesticated animals. <laughs> you just gotta shoot one with an arrow. <laughs> they all run away. <laughs> well, I mean, they probably freak out when the actual wolves pop in. Oh, and faint. Yeah, I think the wolves have got frightens animals. <laughs> and the wolves are indeed like, oh, delicious goats. <laughs> Cranston's going to be pissed that he ran off when we landed yesterday. Look at all these goats. You hear him saying. Yeah. And the other wolf's name was Cranston. <laughs> Cranston's free now. So what are you doing in here? What is oh, your function? We're, we're, we're heading south. We're looking for magical bow. I think that's just the country symbol. Uh, no, that, that does indeed signify that there's a, a magic bow here somewhere in the country. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. The reason there's a, a bunny over the bunny country and a bear over the bear country isn't because there's a magic item, but because there's armies of bunnies and bears there that are about as powerful. Ah, uh, strategic items. resources. There you go. Yeah, strategic resources in those areas. Hmm. Plus one saffron, plus one uranium, you know, that kind of thing. Uh -huh. Yes, that's what you get in the civilization mod of this game. Of this game. <laughs> Bear army or bunny army? Um, hmm. Uh, you have very nice bow already. We don't know of magic one. Head to capital Corduroy. Hey. Oh, that's good milk, he says as he burps. Pours you all that <laughs> big glass of goat's milk. Pepsi were a bad choice. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Many thanks, gentlemen says, though they can't understand. So, I poured at one of the goats, and I'm like, how much? Oh. I forgot what money these fools use. The real. Real? 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 And then I just need to check how much a goat costs. Could be. So they're about um, a fifth of a pound then? Pound sterling. Brazilian real to pound sterling. I don't know. They use it in Iran as well. Or, like, the Kurds call the currency real, I think. I don't know. Oh, hey, yeah, cool. Oh, yeah, the, the currency is real. Obrigado. <laughs> Why did I forget where goats were? Animals and monsters. Pets and trained animals. Uh, has it not got a goat in here? Well, how much is a donkey? I imagine it's a lot less than that. Uh, yeah, uh, 100, 100 real. 100. Uh, okay. I, I hold up a gold crown and a silver sheaf. Like, that, that ought to cover it, right? Uh, one of them looks, and he's like, is that, uh, it's like, yeah, 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 yeah. And he's like, yeah, that's good. I think that's actually the exact amount. <laughs> yeah, I, I did the math. You purchased the um, Okay. And I say, I, I point at it, and I look at the wolves, and I say, that one is yours. <laughs> Take it outside. You tell the bulls to take it outside? Not back. One of them's like, open gate then. As the other one oh. does a squat and that weird butt wiggle they do before a jump. And then leaps over the fence. And, and then yeah, I'll, I'll open the gate. The goats scatter. But that one got pounced on. <laughs> the one with the the one who had the crossbow kind of like curses and he's like oh shit my crossbow it's back on table inside but then when he realizes that the wolves are just getting the one you bought he's like oh shit well good trained dogs N no not trained <laughs> not dogs very smart beasts. Some like. Uh, oh, I should mention. Uh, my friend will be bringing town guard. I'm sure he's no problem. We freak out when we see giant bats. I, I announced that part. He says his friend's coming back with guard he says it shouldn't be a problem it should not be unless you are also wanted for treason here no no I'm good here Verth hmm? are you wanted for treason here no, never been here. My first time. 
Da. No. All should be fine, Ronan. I think we're good. Yeah. Cool. Uh, hey, tell your guys to not let the town guard attack my wolves. Mm. Will be problems. Yes. Oh. They won't be long. You stay stay out. Norsilt. And the one with the pitchforks, she's like, Ugh. It's pretty ugly. The one with the pitchfork is super tall, massive forehead, big jaw, but huge squashed nose and extremely dim looking. Whereas the one with the crossbow was just Danny DeVito. <laughs> okay. We talking... Always sunny Danny DeVito, or are we talking... Always sunny Danny DeVito, older. No spectacles, though. He's just squinting right out at everything. You, you wouldn't want him to sh have to shoot near you with that crossbow, you reckon? He just looks like he can see past his own hands. Okay. So, but, uh, yeah, yeah. Farmer's not much of a threat. No. <laughs> well. What was it that the Skuvnet referred to the bow as? I don't know. What what did they Was it Oriel's to? bow? You can eat all the dragon... No, not all the dragon. All the Elder Scrolls first, I'm afraid. Okay. How many farmers are there so far? They're, they, the others have not arrived yet. Uh, no, but there's no reason to wait for them. So they are coming. They'll be along pretty quickly. A group of about six. Uh, six guard types with boiled leather armors and... Uh, Spears mostly, a couple of swords, and the third farmer who ran away, and someone else who was dressed in really vibrant blue robes. And the one with the pitchforks walking back up to the farmhouse, William, on the road. Is that it? Your wolves are safe. Excellent. And very, Thank you. very satisfied looking. I'm sure. Uh, the one in the blue robes is kind of at the front. Uh, I'm guessing you're all just at the kind of porch to this house. I'm seeing like Cape Cod style. I don't even know. Like a, a nice big sunny porch that we're all sitting on? Yeah. Okay. And the one in blue will speak in Methan. Ayo. Hello. How... How do you all? Greetings. In, uh... Broken Methan? Yeah. You, you you have better than Broken Methan, right? I sent it, sorry. I sent it. I was thinking the 4.1 was broken for some reason.
Jaku started with broken. <laughs> but what was the name of the bow? Uh, I'm not sure we ever gave it one. Uh, Bowie. 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 Bowie the Bobo. Bowie, no. Is it really David the, Bowie. This region region does have French inspired names. Perhaps something vaguely French. You remember you. British people have to take, like, French or German in school, right? I did Spanish. But I know a little bit of French. Je suis mon calculatrice. No, wait. J'adore mon calculatrice. Un, deux, trois. Quatre, cent. That, that's, what that's about it. the bow of Anno? Uh, mm. <laughs> That's just me being super dumb, everybody. Yes. That sounds good. I, I like know that. was a character that Luke played once. Yep. Means lamb? Uh, sheep, yeah. 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 Know you of the bow of a no. Oh. Very forward. But yes. The sheep bow. No, you were the demon army in Mitha. Yes. Of course. Where... Domin will just wait for him to connect the two things. <laughs> Make five seconds pass. And then he's like, Oh. Perhaps you should come into town with us. We can see to it that you are lodged. And we can discuss this further. Apologies. My name is Demetiri. I'm just going to write that down fast. Good to meet you, Demetri. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's just Demetri. It's nice to find that. someone that speaks Mithan. I am Doman of Bretria, and that is Ulrig. Hello. Our Hello. silent companion over there is... Spot. Call me Spot. Our silent companion over there is Obscure, Cochineus, Conocopioides, Alganeo, Viridescence, Tremolo, Dendro, Spotistro, Bilomyces. Yeah, that too. We just call him Spot. Uh, well, it's a pleasure to meet you all. Um, there was mention of giant bats. I point at them. Yeah, they kind of look up in that tree where they all are, and then they're like, oh, yes. Interesting. They're with me. They, they're tame. They're, they have to rest now. They're very tired. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The big one. The big one is resting, also. Kinda. Got, like, one eye open. But, uh... It's definitely got the best branch on the tree. No contest. Is it doing, like, pull-ups while on the tree <laughs> while everybody's sleeping? Yeah. <laughs> and it's snapping its fingers. Uh... 
Um, so you're familiar with the wildlife, then? Uh, Some more yeah, than others. A little bit. Are you one of the mountain birds? Mr. Spot? No, no. I'm I'm a bird. The bird. Okay. I see. He's scratching his chin. Got a little bit of ginger stubble on it. He's got kind of gingery blonde hair. Uh, but will you follow them into town? It's yep. only a ten minute walk into the town proper. Okay. And they'll take you to... Pretty big wooden kind of. Uh, don't know how to describe it. It's an administrative building more than anything. It's got lots of books in it. Yay, books! Uh, lots of people writing stuff. Um, the planks that everything's made out are absolutely massive. Like uh, the walls are made out of three horizontal beams, pretty much, cut from those huge trees, and. It's very thick, sturdy wood. That's what she said? Oh, hey <laughs> A boom. And he'll... lead you all into his... office area. Pretty much. At first. Uh, but on the way into town, he would have been asking, "Are you, are you all rested?" We're actually quite tired. Mm. Mm. It would be best if we could find an inn, a tavern, whatever we could find. Yes, there is, there is place we can see that you get lodging. Uh town does not get many travelers there will definitely be room at uh, the long bar and yeah no he takes you to a tavern <laughs> and tells the innkeeper in Irish to prepare what is it how many a year is there four rooms And she'll nod and run off. Young lady with a massive pair of baps pushed up with a corset. That's. Uh, yeah. Sorry for that. <laughs> That's all I can really say, I think. <laughs> yeah. Spot looks interested. <laughs> I wonder if they store their magic in there. Manor organs. <laughs> Can I try to slip a boner potion on her drink? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've heard about this, I have. Like drawing little circles on your cap. 
But anyways. Anyways. <laughs> uh, uh, you should rest. But come see me later, please. And we'll talk more. Uh, I can answer some quick questions for you now. You ask about the bow of Anno. Yes. Well, it's... It is in the capital. Of course. It is... Known. Uh, but it's... It will not be... Taken to Mitha. To fight in a war. It is a relic of Irish history, wielded by Anno, given by Ruiste of, uh, that's a, uh, mm, it's pretty common knowledge, the gods, I think, isn't it? Goddess of life. Uh, at the dawning of empire or it's but yes well it could be the fireside of the empire well into the evening in the next few years if it doesn't fight this war It is not my decision to make, but I give you fair warning that Bo will likely remain in Corduroy as it has for yeah. last 6,000 years. Yes, it's uh, capital. Very well. We shall discuss this later. Will actually be displayed next week, in fact. You know of this, mm -hmm. of course. For Eclipse. It is uh, removed from Vault at Palace <laughs> and taken, used in ceremony of and no slaying in square at Cordroy on Eclipse. Interesting. It's good show. You will enjoy. So you are sent by Royalty? Does anyone still have any royal seals on them? I'm pretty sure you were all, or everyone who met the king, were given some kind of royal bullshit. To say, like, look at me, I'm a fancy lad, I can do what I want in me. Someone probably still has the letter that accompanied the thousand gold, or thousand worth of gold. Mm hmm. That too. But we were much. sent by the yeah, sorry, king of Mitha in the process we have discovered that there are weapons that can harm the demon army well We aim to finish the war by the end of the year. I guess good time for a smash cut three years later. 
<laughs> it's a shame we're not doing that because that would have been fun. Hmm. Maybe a short break as our characters rest for eight hours and wake up in the early evening? Yes, we are at a good point for a break. I let you rest. We be right back. After these messages.
We're and back. I am not muted. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Enjoy. <laughs> So, you've rested up, you uh, wake up early evening, 6, 7pm, uh, it sounds quite rowdy downstairs to be honest, to say how quiet the town looked and that bloke said there weren't many visitors, but you did also notice that this looked like the pretty much only bar in the town, it's a big it's a big hall downstairs. It was like a huge drinking hall. It got a crap ton of rooms, but they were all empty. And now you can hear some rate rowdiness downstairs and all sorts of music. Weird instruments that you're not familiar with, most of you. Or half of you, to most of you. I go to bed. Well, you, you, you just woke up, son. <laughs> oh, just woke up. <laughs> He's like, no, no, I, I don't want this. I'm going to bed. Back to bed. Oh, screw it. 16 hours. <laughs> Gotta get that beauty sleep in. <laughs> I did not want to be awake today. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll go downstairs. And I want, I want ale and food. Yeah, they'll hook you up. Uh, it's all being provided free. You get told. <clears throat> okay. As well, I, per I, the magistrate's I, I, orders. I leave a silver sheaf with one of the... With, with the server. Just, like, pre-tipping. Uh, they take it. They, like, look at it close. But then, like, shrug and pocket it. Still silver, you know? Yeah, yeah. The... Yes? The adoption of your sleeping schedule has... is strange. Oh. How so? Inactive during the day, but active at night. That's oh, how the wolves that. hunt. I, I think James is actually more accustomed to this, what with uh, always uh, hanging out with wolves. Or Ronan. No, yes. Ronan is more accustomed to a sleep schedule like this, what with always hanging out with wolves and shit. After game, James goes out and just runs around with his wolves. Yes, I do. I'd struggle. Gentlemen, we'll head down and have one of those free drinks. Oh, very nice. Yeah, I'm gonna drink some too. Oh, we will definitely go down and drink and eat his field. You wake up and there's a party going on. Like, all right, just my style. Uh, all right, all right, all right. As your, um, as Doman was having that conversation with the Verth, you noticed the music stop and the bar downstairs fall silent for about three seconds. That were as you entered, Ronan. And everyone turned and looked at you. Who is this guy? And all the children have red hair. There are a lot of okay. red-haired kids about. Uh. Real ugly, too. Screw you. <laughs> Just saying. Most kids are real ugly, I'm pretty sure. In my experience. Okay, that's a point. That's a fair point. Weird little mutant. Not a pedophile confirmed. <laughs> that's what I want you to think. <laughs> Try putting that on your resume. 
not a pedophile. Not a pedophile. <laughs> I'll try it. Yeah, I'll see. If we get in the interviews, maybe I just... I, I don't need to put it on my resume, but I could just say it in the interview. Like, I'm legally required to tell you that I am not a pedophile. Yeah. <laughs> like, right after they say hello and please sit down. <laughs> you just throw it right out there. Or maybe say I'm it... I'm right, not a pedophile. Maybe say it right at the end, so it's the last thing they remember of the whole exchange. That you are not a pedophile? Yeah. Inter <laughs> interview tips on a farming podcast. We do everything. So the bar goes quiet? Oh yeah, the bar went quiet. <laughs> that were right, because Ronan had walked in. But then it starts back up again shortly after. And yeah, you passed your free food and drink, Ronan. Okay, yeah, but I, I still tip him. Mm -hmm. And then, Ronan, you notice that the bar has gone quiet once again, and the music stopped. Because Ulrig just walked in. Spot and Doman, you're at the top of the stairs, you can see Ulrig just entering the bar area. And I'm gonna... Uh, as it happened. I, I'm gonna, uh... Get the barmaid's attention and be like, you know, point at them and say I'm gonna need more. She nods. Starts filling up big old wooden mugs. And the bar stays quiet for a bit longer than five seconds. Can I do something? No. You die. <laughs> <laughs> How are these people so mouthful in their agrarian existences? <laughs> jaunty jig, ever. Do a jaunty jig. Let me see what I can do. Ready? Oh, no, wait. That was the wrong one. Oh, I fail miserably. I'll give you that 13. <laughs> I guess he takes a swing of the drink and then uh, just looks at the bar and starts to think of the songs that he was working the last time. <clears throat> and he starts... From a melody broken, fixed with care and with love, with beats that bring joy and a smile that heals all. When the heroes stand closer, their songs will be heard. For all deeds and the heart stop, from the love that they fought, with the deeds and the lives that they brought and they shine. When they fail, they will thank us for all in the light. The music starts up like as you... <laughs> James being rude. <laughs> he just met the god of death and he's not going death metal? Uh, he needs some metal theme music to learn from, such as uh, metal guitar or at least some <laughs> very metal batteries. Remember that he mimics the music. He doesn't. Now, Ulrig should go total cannibal corpse. <laughs> I prefer cannabis corpse. I only like thrush. Best digestion. Ever so mild. <laughs> yeah, the but the the people we instruments start playing along we as you're singing. And pretty much all the locals in the tavern are stamping the feet or mugs in time we He just uh 
starts to just uh dance. yeah he tries to dance a little bit as the sun goes on oh snap that's good dancing yeah yeah it's good music good environment at least i broke up the silence these uh, like group of about six ladies come and start dancing with you yeah, i guess big weird circle going I started dancing along with them, and then I just pointed at uh, Domun, Spot, and Ronan. Uh, like, come on, get in here. <laughs> Domun stares at you, unamused. We are unamused. Yeah, thanks, Queen. When you point at Spot and Doman, two of the girls in the group run over and try and grab both your hands and drag you into the circle. She's like flushed from the dancing. She's like, a blue pity doo pity. <laughs> Took it on your hands. Yeah, it's Spot will go. Hey, yo. Spot gets dragged into the dancing circle. Doman does not go. You just hold firm as she pulls on your hand. She like huffs. And then. And puffs! <laughs> blows your armor off. Yeah, she gets back in on the dancing. Like rolls her eyes at you. Uh, after a hour or so that magistrate would appear again uh, once okay. you've all had plenty to eat and a bit to drink he's like oh good you're all up uh, so how, how are you feeling good I hope well rested enjoying the food and drink of our town marvelous yes very good Excellent. It is filling. Oh. We... Um, I was hoping to ask a favor of you all. What do you need? You seem as a group to be good with the wildlifes. Uh, good with the white? The, the, wild, heard, the wife. The wildlifes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm. Woods to north are dangerous. Getting more dangerous, it feels like. Um, a guard died two moons ago. Uh, taken away by a beast in the woods. The ones who survived did not get a good look at it, but there have been livestock taken also recently, in the last week. Two cows slaughtered lots of blood in the field. And we don't know what's doing this. German will pull out and take a look at his um, sc scrying detection mark. Scrying detection. Remember he bought it in Ashworth? Oh, yeah. A 
it glows red when orcs are observing you. Uh uh that thing. Uh you're not currently being observed. Know you anything more about this danger? Not so much. I think it might be related to your mission, though. And I say so honestly. I don't think it is natural. I think it maybe starts around the same time as demons. And we have 18 weeks yet before the Great Eclipse. We have time. What will happen on Great Eclipse? The world's pretty much going to end. Uh, that is why we must travel to the volcano at that time. Volcano. It is to do with Skuvnet. <clears throat> the Skuv. There are there is a trading company in Grias. The town east of here. Uh quite a few schools come and go. They fly into wretch across border by magic. Are the school treacherous? Might they be the ones responsible for the woods? Some yes, some no. The machinations of their state are vile, but many of the individuals are merely pawns, unwilling, unaware. They are very secretive, but they bring lots of gold. There is a clearing in the forest in an old uh, guard house way station. That is where the guard was taken from. You will find it if you head north into the woods beyond the first valley. If you fly your bus there, it should be yeah. easy to sight from the sky. Sorry. Ronan, the bear, can you persist? I'm sorry, you said persist? Carry you to assist. Yeah. Oh, well. Of course. Of course. We shall perform this optional side quest for you, NPC. <laughs> the exclamation point turns into a question mark. And he puts his big fat spade and with lines drawn on it for fingers near a piece of bread that kind of gets glued to it. And then he lifts it up and smacks himself in face with it a few times.
<laughs> and I think that is probably a good time to about call it. It's been a slower session, a bit emptier. We're missing some people though, and it was a good transition between countries, I think. Yeah, we got a good cultural introduction. Cultural yeah. introduction, that's a, an excellent phrase, thank you. Picked ourselves up a side quest. And got good knowledge of what you need to do in here now. Well, or at least where the bow is and where it's going to be if thieving it is one of your plans. If it's the real one. Mm. Just have a wolf yeah, I was run past hard. and like, jump and grab it. <laughs> and carry on running. I mean, I feel like we can come up with some better plans. But I'd be down to do something like that. You'll not find a better plan than that. I might do that. Like, just some random other wolf, not one of yours. Like, arr! Not having that bow. Maybe a big seagull. Oh, there are giant birds. Giant seagulls. Giant flocks of seagulls? Oh, yeah. And did they run? <laughs> so far away. All night and day. Well, Just to get away? <laughs> couldn't get away. <laughs> well, yes. Uh, so, at that... Uh, thanks very much for watching. Uh, although, this would have been a good one to skip. <laughs> and yeah I'll switch it to the credits Oi, I'm Luke I was very lazy today what a prick we also had James hey I'm James hi managed to do some weird talking stuff that's unusual for Ronan <laughs> weird talking stuff that's what she said <laughs> well it's Ronan. He kills the nest wishes later. So yeah, he used his mouth stuff this time. Good for you. Seems like he just shoots kids in the leg. <laughs> <laughs> We're going for the, the justice shot. <laughs> Cripple him for life shot. <laughs> I had forgotten about that. <laughs> we also had Everoth. Hello, I was Everoth. You're always happy singing bard. Yeah, yeah. No um, microphone problems today, ironically. I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you should be sounding amazing pretty soon, hopefully. Hopefully. We had Z Warrior. Hi. Uh, uh... I play Spot. I have a bunch of giant bats. One of them almost killed Ronan. Uh, almost. Maybe next time. <laughs> oh, Come on, Z. <laughs> and I've not said well, it today. It. It's been said. But I've not said that's it and good. I want to. So no, obscure. Where we find <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I'm sorry. Ah! <laughs> uh, okay, go ahead. Say it. Obscure Coxineus, Conocopiodes, Agone, Overdus, and Stremlodendros, Petitio, Bilomyces. That's a new record. Maybe. Say my name. <laughs> Say my name. <laughs> You've made it gross. Finally, we had Jared. <laughs> And Jared played Doman, um, stumbled across the weird deviant art stuff. Oh yeah, search for ripped bats. Well, what do you expect when you search for ripped bats? I expect a yiff. <laughs> and we'll be back next Friday, maybe on Wednesday. Uh, oh, catches on Sunday.
at 7 p.m. UTC plus one. I'll tweet about that as well. That'll be interesting. But aye, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye. Bye.